Well, hello there, this is Shiva. Uh, yes, I'm back, finally. Um, I've been very, very busy. Um, responsibilities. Um, I'm at my one of my main location here, and I've got a brand new computer, so everything is a little bit shaky. I'm just getting stuff done now. I don't even know if OBS is even going to be uh, uh, able to record uh, this, but we'll find out. Um, anyway, I did the uh, Pinball Nevada logo. And I, I sent the PSD file to, um, uh, you know, so that he can do his own uh, banners easily. And he's pretty new because he hasn't been able to figure it out. So I, I thought I'll just do this very quickly for him. So first off, I'm going to find that, that banner. And it's right there. Um, don't resolve. Okay, that's telling me that my fonts are wrong, and that's because I haven't actually loaded the Pinball Nirvana font into this computer. So as long as we don't actually change the text of Pinball Nirvana or nudging necessary, we'll be fine. Okay, so let's have a quick look here. Um, as you can tell, at the moment it's on text master yeah uh, i'm sorry you know this is uh, this is on my 4k monitor and microsoft still hasn't and you know as you said the manufacturers and the companies they don't think about this people are using 4k monitors you would think that even adobe a big multinational corporation would have figured out an easier way for us to you know to set things like sizes of our icons and make the text bigger um, on top of it, uh, I can't, because I'm using, um, going to be using Visual Pinball, I can't adjust the text scaling. Well, I can. So, I'm. you know what, that's what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to adjust the goddamn text in, uh, scaling and any table that doesn't work in VPX because of it, I'll just delete. Because it's just too much of a pain in the ass. So, let's go to 200% so at least we can see stuff. There we go. Thank you. Oh, how much better is that? Yes, that is so much better. Um, I'm obviously going to need glasses. So, let's just uh, downsize this out a little bit more. There we go. All right, so now we can actually see stuff. Jeez, this is an absolute fresh install, by the way. So, uh, yeah, I installed everything, even put in OBS, as I said before, just so I can show this. So, okay, whatever. This is the uh, Nevada Text Master. That would be all of this stuff right here. And then, of course, the uh, the girl on each side with a with the star background, background and, of course, the background panel. So, let's just switch that off. So, that's the pattern, right? Now, if you notice on here, if I want to move stuff, I just select the move tool. That's what actually what it says, move tool. Uh, if I want to move the layer, I can. If I want to move the entire group, or in other words, what's everything that's in this folder, I would set to group. So let's select that. And then let's just hit the arrow key. Come on, you, you little bugger. See, you can move the entire thing. I am now going to... Uh, where's my bloody history? Okay, never mind. Undo move. As I said, this is going to be shaky. All right. Now, if I want to move the layer, auto-select the group. I just go to the layer. And when I sele select on here, see, it automatically selects the layer. So if I want to move uh, pinball and the layer, I just hold the control key uh, down and I select, select that. So as you see, pinball lines overlay, pinball overlay. And now I can probably move that, can't I? Yep, there we go. See? So if we need to make this bigger or smaller, we can. And the same with the Nirvana. Hold the control key down, select Nirvana. So that these two are selected, and let's just make that, move that over there. So the spacing is better. Um, the spacing was actually based on the file that I, I received, and that was what the spacing was, I guess. Uh, I do have the original somewhere. 
and you can do the same thing with nudging and necessary. Now if you notice something, um, I have a little chain here, so what that means is is that when I select one layer, uh, this layer is attached to it, so it will automatically move uh, with it. So I don't even have to select. Oh, come on, you stupid bloody thing. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. So not only is Nevada Lines Overlay uh, moving, but also the Nevada, which is the actual font itself, that's also linked, as you can see. Same with Pinball, and that is linked with Pinball Lines Overlay. So if you just select that, I'm just using the arrow key, by the way. You can use the arrow keys to move stuff. All right, so there you go. That, that, that's moved. You don't want the, uh, the fancy lines over top of it. That's easy enough. Now, we're going to discuss blends here. And if you notice, uh, Photoshop has a feature called layers, as you know. And layers happen to have uh, a style uh, where you can use preset styles. And that is exactly what I uh, what I did with this. Uh, that way you can change whatever you want. So let's select the pinball layer. So you see the effects. They really should have just called it styles instead of effects. They've got three different damn names for it. Uh, I think the other one was I forgot what the other one what they called it. But anyway, it's effects. So if you don't want the effects, you just want the white text background. Uh, you can switch the effect, and there you go. See pinball effects. If you turn it back on, you can. Furthermore, you can uh, switch on and off each effect if you want. That removes the rather cool bevel that, that's around it. Uh, the stroke, well, that removes the black border. This removes the gradient. And this removes the pattern that I've embedded in here. It doesn't really show up, but it is kind of needed. Now, as to changing them, well, what you do is you just double click, click the effect, and you can make changes as you uh, as you want. As you can see, this is the inner bevel. Uh, if you say change it to outer bevel, bevel, see what it does. It re it gives a stamped look. If you want to do an emboss, you can. A pillow emboss, which is a combination of inner and outer out of bevels and finally a stroke emboss now watch what happens with that see so that's pretty easy uh, to figure it out this is what Photoshop does I have no idea what uh, GIMP does it's supposedly a Photoshop clone that's freeware so it should have something very very similar to that as to the technique uh, this is how uh, this is basically uh, how defined you want i have this on chisel hard but if i put it on chisel soft watch what happens it gets a little fuzzy okay or you can just do it as smooth uh, just leave it on uh, but because the size of uh, because the size is set uh, it doesn't really work but watch what happens when i change the size let's change the size see Let's put that back on in a little bit. So you can do it like that. And to soften, this is what softens this. So if I put this, say, at 49, like this, and then I increase the softness, see what happens? It gets more distinct. All right. Now, with the stroke, it's the same. You can actually, uh, for instance, uh, with the stroke, you can uh, determine if it's outside or inside. Uh, you can set the color. You can actually use a gradient or a pattern uh, to, fill it, uh, to fill it. I just use the color black. Um, everything else is, you know, just leave alone. You also have different blend modes, again, with, with strokes. It's not much use talking about it. It's uh, kind of useless for that. Uh, with the next one is a gradient overlay and you can see that I have a gradient and I am able to select different colors different effects these are all built into into uh, so for instance if I want that one there we go or if I want to say make it an orange there you go easy 
right it just takes a little bit of time just to learn all of this stuff all right so and with pattern I'm not really using the pattern but if you notice it's it's actually the background pattern to this I just I just put this in it doesn't really work because I have a gradient over top of it but I put it in anyway so if I go with the gradient remove it it's actually the pattern uh, that that uh, that the text is showing so and the same with Nevada um, and with nudging unnecessary well again we need to uh, we need to improve this just a little bit now one of the things you were asking about was uh drop shadows and that is actually as another layer style it's pretty easy to do drop shadow and uh let's increase the distance here first let's do 30. Let's make that a lot more fuzzier. Not so much as that. Let's do 25. And as to the angle, well, we want it kind of over there. So what we'll do is you have to actually use reverse, which I know is kind of weird, but it does that. And you just play with it until you like it. There you go, like that. Let's make the distance a little bit more. Let's do 35 and let's make that up and let's make that 30. And as you can see, it sort of blends in. If you want to make it more, uh, you can. It really depends on how much you want and the spread. If you put it all the way, see what happens. Let's do 25% on the spread. Um, if you really want to get fancy, you can add noise to it. See what happens? We only want 5%. Now, this is interesting because this will give you some uh, interesting effects uh, based on your settings up here. So for instance, if we go like that, you see what happens? Let's do another one. There's another one. There's one right there. And it's just a very cheap way to add additional effects. And sometimes uh, these actually look better than, than the stock or the flat setting, which is right there. This is sort of a rounded effect. But this is still the best one. Okay? Okay. Now, um, we've got Pinball. We've got Nevada done. So instead of remembering all the settings, since uh, the effects for the pinball text are identical to the text on the Nevada so what we do is we just copy the layer style uh, the layer style from pinball we select Nevada we right click it and we go paste and there you go there's your drop shadows now as to nudging is necessary uh, again we have to figure this out um, for some reason, this is not working on this particular version of Photoshop. It's working on my older one. I have absolutely no idea why, but let's try it anyway. Up oh, there it is. So let's do 25 because it's a smaller word. And with this, we'll do 30. And we will roughly do the same as that. Let's make this a little bit less less strong. There we go. And I think, yeah, 2025 is better, I think. Yeah, see, that's that looks a lot better. And we just go OK. And there's nudging done. And then what we do to uh, for necessary is we click on the nudging layer. We go copy layer style. Then we go on to necessary. And we go paste. And there you go. So, there's your text. All right. So, what else is here? Well, what else can I quickly show you? Oh, yeah, moving stuff. Ah, that's pre actually pretty easy. Uh, for, for instance, oh, by the way, these are actual layers. They're not like a text font. 
Uh, these are actual layers that I, that I copied in. As you can see, these are just the lines. Um, if you notice, I have if you notice the settings, that's linear burn, and uh, it's just the blend. But you can change it to normal. You can also change it to dissolve. You can change it to a couple of other things. That's just basic. That's the multiplier. You know, these are just presets. Uh, they're basically blends. That's soft light. That's hard light. Vivid. You know, most of these are are, are useless. Uh, that's the difference. That's that's the opposite colors. Um, this is exclusion. This is subtract. Uh, divide. Hue. Saturation. Color. Luminosity. Um, and, and these are required because uh, I, I had to overlay these. Uh, unfortunately, with Photoshop, you can't combine. Certain things will have priority over other, like gradient and patterns. Uh, the patterns don't even really show up on, on here at all, right? So, you know, and I had forgotten about that with, with this particular version, whatever. Uh, okay, so we're going to uh, we're going to start moving around. And as you can see, we have the chain links here, so everything is, is pretty simple. Um, we'll select the ball, just click on the ball, and it automatically selects your layer, and we'll just center that a little bit more. We could, of course, just make it disappear. I'll keep it on mine. All right, there you go. So that's done. Now, what else do we want? Let's switch off each layer so we have no girls. This is the original banner. As you can see, it's very, very far. The woods, Pinball Nevada, are very, very, very far apart, and they shouldn't be. Well, I also have a duplicate here. But this is, in fact, the original banner. This is the original banner that was set to me. Uh, and what I did was I just basically doubled the size and then just built individual portions of it. But uh, the original PSD file is long, long gone. Now, you can change the background on this. You can, of course, uh, change the, the emanation here. The other thing you can do, of course, is you can uh, duplicate your folders and make a new one which is what I did with uh, the Shiva site 25th anniversary if you notice the text the coloring is a little bit different it uses a different gradient um, and as you know I did all of this uh, completely different one of the nice things about it is of course you can change the color of, of nudging necessary if you really 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 wanted to do it there would be a color overlay right here. And you can actually change the color when, to whatever you want. And I don't think there's anything else. Uh, I think we are all done here. You, ca you have all sorts of capabilities and, and, and abilities. Um, I know GIMP is, is quite good. I would actually suggest uh, taking the time and, run, and running some tutorials uh, off of YouTube and stuff because there's all sorts of interesting things, especially in Photoshop, that can save you hours and hours and hours of work. Um, my problem was I couldn't decide on the banner, uh, of what I wanted on the banner. But once I did decide that this was the way to go, this took me maybe two three hours and that's because I had to redraw a few things I had to add new lines to this and I had to do all of that and I had to make some modifications and everything else but that was really uh, um, a after a while you just get the hang of it so in the meanwhile what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off and uh, I hope that explaining everything uh, works out for you I believe I've already explained it but you can in fact if you select it to, uh, to group and you, you have your move tool, you can move everything if you should so want to. 
Oh, what the heck? Come on. Now, you stupid bugger. Group. This is interesting. It's not allowing me to do that. Well, I don't particularly uh, like this particular thing anyway. Um, oh, now you can do it now. Okay, now you've decided to. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I've been having problems like that. Oh, I hate having a new computer because then you start seeing some of the, the problems of some of these programs that you uh, fix over time. And yet, if you've got fresh installs and everything else, you got to go through it all over again and fix all of these stupid little bugs and everything else like that. So anyway, this is uh, the way that it looks. And uh, so hopefully this helps you. Um, there are other, other areas here that, that are really, really uh, very, very handy, but we won't get into that. We're just uh, tr just giving you the basics and just explaining uh, how to change stuff. Um, I'm going to do this now. Let's change, uh, let's select my pinball la text layer. Let's select the, the text tool. Now we hi highlight the word pin, uh, for, yeah, okay. As you can see, not great. I don't have the font uh, loaded in yet. So let's uh, change the word pinball. Let's go to, there you go. We're now Shiva's uh, Nevada. Oh, I don't like, uh, I, I don't like it capital. I had my caps locks on. So let's change that. So let's change it. Uh, from now on, it's no longer Pinball Nirvana. It's now called Sheba's Nirvana. And in case you're wondering, oh, well, it's a different font. So again, we can make some changes. Uh, character. That's already on there. And it's uh, for some reason, it's decided to do that. Don't ask me why. There is no bold, unfortunately. But we can change the font to whatever we want. So let's find something a little simple here. What's a good one? What about that one? Yeah, it's, it's okay. But you can change anything. You can change whatever you want. Uh, if you want to change the text size, you can. Let's make this 400. You can make it uh, very, uh, you can make the, the, uh, the actual height a, a lot more. See if I go 200. Or if I don't, I can just go 100. Uh, this is the, the spacing between each letter. So if I make this say 50, oops, see, everything goes, uh, every, it's the same height. It's just, it's just the letter spacing. And same with, uh, same with this. What happens if I put it to 100? See what happens. It, it's, it's a sort of an automatic version. Uh, and then, of course, you can also make it invert. Uh, you can make it in ta uh, italic, italic. And this, this is all. Uh, this is all caps. And this just makes it smaller, but uh, smaller. But there's so much stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, I believe you've already figured this one out. You have different uh, settings. This is set to smooth but you can actually make it none. And if you look at it, the letters are very, very, become very, very blocky around the, uh, around the edges and everything else like that. So there you go. Um, also as well, well, once I get the, the font back in, um, we'll do that. And as to, you said that it was um, centered, uh, well, that's, it actually wasn't centered. It was centered uh, to align uh, to align to the left. I am struggling today. I haven't actually done this in a lot of, in a long time. Uh, view. Where's my history? Where's my where's my uh, there it is. 
for some reason it decided not to do this. I'm just going to go all the way back so I don't accidentally So anyway, I hope this helps, and uh, you know, I, I hope that you'll be able to. It makes it a little bit easier for you to be able to modify stuff when you, once you realize just how powerful these graphic programs actually are. Um, if you take this a uh, little bit of time, don't do what I did. I just dived in, didn't bother studying anything, and still haven't really uh, watched any tutorials. This is just you know me just figuring it out for myself. But don't do what I did. Um, it, it can, it, or else you end up wasting huge amounts of your time doing it. Just watch uh, some simple tutorials, especially on GIMP, and uh, you, you will notice that they probably have very, very similar features to Photoshop. So once you understand uh, the concepts and everything else, then uh, you know you'll be able to rip out banners every couple day, every day if you really wanted to, and and it would be a pretty decent quality, and you'd be able to do what you. It the way you want it to look like so yeah in the meanwhile I uh, as I said before hope it, it helps I'll see you on on the website and uh, in the meanwhile I guess I'm going to sign off bye now